So we have come a long way in terms of storage from old hard drives that were slow and loud. to now almost only using SSDs. Well, if you are like me and have a lot of data or well, basically are, are a hardware hoarder like me, you have some SSDs or some older hardware lying around and maybe even some defective or not working hardware lying around, such as SSDs. Although they work much better and have a higher life expectancy than for example, normal hard drive, they also can fail. And this is why I want to show you today how to fix a dead SSD or seemingly dead SSD and um, get it back to life again, no matter if it's a SATA SSD or just an M.2 drive, because you can also fix those if they are dead at like a 50 to 60% chance, I say. We'll start with normal SATA SSDs. So, doesn't matter if it's an old SATA 3, SATA 2 SSD, whatever, doesn't really matter. You could also just be looking for your data on these because, I don't know, the SSD doesn't work anymore and you just need the data off of it. Although I must say, this is not, even if the drive starts to work again, this may not work to recover your data all of the time because even if it, the drive gets detected again, you might still not be able to access your data and have to reformat your drive. But we come, we'll come to that later. First of all, what to do if your drive isn't shown anymore, either in the BIOS or in Windows. Obviously, you could unplug it and plug it back in again, as you would with IT in general. Um, but the next thing would be, well, you have two connectors on the back. One is for data, the smaller one, and one is for power. Power! What you want to do is turn off your PC, connect only the power cable so that the hard drive is powered up or SSD is powered up. And then when the data power cable is connected, start your PC and go into the BIOS. Stay in there for, or rather just leave the PC on for like an hour or something. Normally it should take half an hour, but I try to leave it on longer. It doesn't really matter how long, if it's at least like half an hour. And uh, the drive in itself, when not connected to data, will go through a repair cycle or a rather not repair cycle, but also kind of a check cycle to check if some cells on the flash are dead and if there's something corrupted or whatever and the drive will fix itself. So after half an hour or an hour or something, you can reboot the PC, plug in your SATA cable again and start the PC again. And then you can boot into Windows and have a look if the drive is there or rather just have a look in the BIOS. You can also do that. If the drive obviously isn't really recognized in Windows directly, you can go through the drive manager as well um, because it may just appear as a raw partition. Then when there's data on there, the data either has to be recovered by a program if you need the data or if you don't need it, you can just format the drive and just use it normally. Uh, if it doesn't work, then you can try the same steps I told you before again two times. If it doesn't work by the third try, well, the drive is probably dead. But in 50 to 60% of cases, um, this should work for SSDs. And I have fixed quite a few of them this way. In my job as an A technician on a hardware retailer, it was maybe three to four a week even because drives were selling quickly and there were some coming in and that was an easy way of fixing, fixing them and not having to send them back to the manufacturer, which was much easier for us to just try to fix them and give them back to the customer, which did have it even their data on them again. So that was a big plus, the data coming or giving the customer the data back. On M.2 drives, it's a bit different because you can only plug them in well, with data and power together. Although basically it's uh, almost the same. You also plug this drive into your M.2 slot 
but also don't boot into Windows and just boot into the UEFI. The drive will also run through the same procedure as the SATA drives. It might get warm some, somewhat because it's running through its repair process, which will use the drive quite a bit. So don't worry if it gets warm or even a bit hot. That's normal. And on those, it's the same thing. If it doesn't work by the third try, the drive is probably dead. If that didn't work for rescuing your data, obviously you could use some software to recover your data or give them to a recovery specialist if the data is really important to you because sometimes these data recovery tools break things even worse than they were before. So if it's really, really important, please consider going to a specialist. And lastly, how to check your health of your SSD if, well, if it has not died yet. You can use Crystal Disk Info for that. There you will see any data that your drive has to offer about its longevity, about its use or whatever. It also tells you how much data has been written of the drive, on the drive because SSDs are limited with their write cycles. Most of the time those are around 100 to 2 or 300 terabytes written. So 300 terabytes written to a drive and there they say that that's about the maximum of an SSD depending on also the flash it's going to use but that's a thing for a different video. Um, you can see that what the limit of the, the particular drive is in the spec sheet, but it's most of the time that high that it is not really an issue. Also, most of the drives function longer than their TBW cycle, so the terabytes written in general. That's also a good tool for hard drives because hard drives tend to get slower over time. And if you notice the hard drive being slow, you can also look that up in the tool why that is. And if it's fixable or if the hard drive should be exchanged for a different one, a new one because it's dying soon. Same can be said for SSDs, although SSDs die very quickly. So one time they are detected and on the next day they're not. So yeah, it's kind of random for those. So I would also always do a backup if you need your data. That's basically everything I wanted to tell you about this. And uh, also because this is kind of a neat trick that not everybody does know. And uh, I feel a lot of people should know because data is important and not buying new hardware is also important. So because you don't spend any money on it, it's basically free stuff if or rather money saving in general. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments how many drives you have fixed now or if you have any that have been fixed by this trick would be really interesting to know. Anyway, I wish you a nice day and goodbye.